Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So this tutorial is uh, you know on Docker and Oracle database. So this will be a Docker tutorial for beginners where we'll be talking about how to set up Oracle database on Docker. So this will be very interesting and there are a lot of steps and a lot of demo which we'll be doing. So what we will uh, see is like how to run an Oracle 19C uh, database on Docker. So why? Because you know there there are you know different use cases of running Docker uh, you know, uh, database on as on a Docker container. So there were a lot of queries like how you can run uh, Oracle database as well. So the prerequisite is like you know you should have a system where you should uh, you have Docker installed. So if you don't know, you can check my channel. I have a complete tutorial on how to set up Docker. And I also have, uh, we also need Git install on the machine because we need to clone, clone some Git repository. Also, we need to have WinSCP to copy some files from your Windows machine to Linux uh, Docker machine. Because we need to download some files from a uh, no, web uh, page, from Oracle web page, which will be saved on your machine. And we need to copy that into your uh, Linux uh, no, server or VMs. So that's how uh, the, some of the pre-requests. So what we will see is like how to install Docker on uh, Oracle on a Docker. Uh, no, so what we will do the steps like and it's a little bit complicated step because there is no direct you know uh, Oracle uh, image available. If you have an Im image in uh, you know Docker Hub, it would have been simple like you know you just cop uh, use that Docker uh, image from your Oracle you know on, on Docker Hub for the Oracle database and you just run a container right. But in in our case, what we have to do is we have to use uh, you know uh, Docker images uh, repository where we from the GitHub we have to clone that, and also at the same time you need to register on Oracle side to download uh, the respective you know file for your uh, operating system and the DB file. So you have to download this because in our case we'll be using 19.3.0 uh, version of Oracle database. For that, you know, for Linux uh, machine, we are using Linux. So you need to download the respective file from Oracle side and you need to copy that to your uh, you know, uh, uh, Docker machine. So in order to copy this file, we will be using, you know, WinSCP. So you have to copy this file from your Windows machine to the uh, f Docker files folders into the, you know, into the, your Docker machine. So that those tips, these all these all stuff, we'll show you how to do it, and also then after that we need to build a Docker image using this uh, source file and also uh, some script in this uh, Docker image. So we'll uh, use these commands like building with the SH file and the, which uh, version of Docker image you are going to build, and is it uh, is it an enterprise version, and also the tagging, you know, the uh, image. So once we uh, create the Docker image, then the process is uh, similar. Like you have to run the Oracle database as a container using Docker run command. So there also there are different variables, uh, which we'll also will show you. So in order to run the Docker uh, run command for your Oracle database, what we will use is like Oracle Docker run, and we'll be using you know IT mode, so IT ready mode. So you can see what's happening on the screen. If you want to run it as a detached mode, you can use uh, D hyphen D and we can give a name for your uh, container and also there will be two ports which you'll be using 1521 and also 5500 so these two ports also will have to open it in the firewall and also you can uh, set some Oracle SIDs you can set your Oracle DBs so there are different configuration you, uh, I'm just using the Oracle DB here and also setting the password for your you know, sys uh, and uh, different uh, system accounts in your database, right? So there will be three is user accounts which will be created uh, by default, and we are setting the password for that. And we are also mapping, you know, as a volume, so where you can store your Oracle database, uh, you know, uh, main uh, files into your uh, Docker volume. And you are also using the Docker image which you just created in the previous step. So that's how the overall process. Let's see. We go. It's a little bit, uh, you know, a tricky one, but uh, it's not that complicated. It's very simple. I will show you how to do that step by step. What we discussed, so you can just follow that. Okay. So let's get into the actual demo. So before I get into that, I would request you, like, if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, like my videos, share, give your feedback in the comment section. So I have a machine, you know, where Docker is already installed. So you can see, uh, you know, I have already installed. So if you don't have a Docker installed, please follow my steps in the 
channel so i have a lot of videos on docker kubernetes and also setting up different kind of database like mysql postgres so you can check all those things for your reference if you want to learn more about docker so uh, what we have to do is first i will just create a you know a folder i will call it as uh, test uh, oracle and i will get into that okay so now we don't have anything over here so what the uh, next step is like i want to copy something so uh, th this is the github page which i will give into the you know video description so this is the main github page where you can see this is a repository for oracle database uh, oracle docker images so uh, no i'm i'm into the readme page so i'll go to this docker images so this is the main uh, github repository so you just need to use this uh, you know uh, repository and you need to clone it so i will use git clone and uh, if you don't have a git you need to install using yum install git so you know just use that to uh, install your git if you don't have a git you cannot clone it okay so just use the yum install git in case of uh, red hat or sendos machine if you are using uh, ubuntu you can use apt uh, get install no uh, git now you can see you have uh, the docker images here and if i go to you know docker images you can see different other folders and what we need uh, to go is like we need to go to uh, oracle database so i will go to oracle database and you can see we have a single instance so i will go to single instance and now you can see the docker files right so if i go to docker files you can see there are uh, other you know versions like w different versions of uh, files right so what we are going to use this 19.3.0 so w what we also need to do is we need to go to this uh, oracle database page where you need to download uh, the respective the binary files so you can see different uh, you know versions of oracle right oracle 12c those kind of things is what i need to do is i want to use for 19.3 so and it's for should be for Lin uh, linux you know uh, x86 64 and i need the zip file so if i go for go to this it will ask you to accept and it has to go to your you know you can see this is the file if it will ask you to log into the oracle page so you need to register it and you need to log in so it, you should be able to download it so i already have downloaded it so you can see i have the file already here and what i also have is i have uh, the win scp setup and i have you know the the system also configured so to where i have to copy it so uh, i will just refresh it so you can see this is the folder for uh, test oracle right and i have the file over here so what i need to do is i need to go to the test oracle and you need to go to database single instance and docker files and the version of uh, uh, which version because we are going to use uh, linux uh, no db19.3.0 right so I have downloaded that uh, zip file, so I need to just copy that to here, okay? So this will take some time to copy it, so let's just wait for uh, that to be completed. And uh, once that is completed, then we have to go back to the system, so this file will be there in our Linux uh, Docker machine. Then we can try uh, start building our Docker image. So we are almost completed because this is a huge file. It's almost like a 3 GB of uh, file, which we are copying from uh, here to the Linux uh, Docker system. So once we copy this, then we can go back to our uh, Docker system and we should be able to see this file uh, over there. So now we can see the copy is completed and if you go to your uh, system and if you check inside 19.3.0, you can see the file uh, which we just copied, right? So that's the only use for WinSCP. You can just close that, okay? So you don't need a... Uh, anything else for Windows CP just for copying the file from your Windows system to your Linux system. So now uh, we are done uh, you know, on the copying side so I will just go back one more step and you know you can see the uh, docker file folder that is a place where we have this file called build container image dot sh right so we have to run uh, a script from here so I'll just clear out the screen so you, we have the file called build container image dot sh now if you go to the documentation you know you can uh, see there are different kind of uh, uh, parameters which we can use so we'll use the build container dot as such and you can use hyphen v to give the version number so you can use 19.3.0 uh, which we are using if you are using a different version then you have to use that and also you'll have to copy the respective 
uh, file to that uh, folder okay and you can also use hyphen t to give a image name and the tag and you can also use other uh, variables like whether you want to use uh, the enterprise edition or standard edition or express edition so you cannot use both uh, all three together you have to use any one of it whether it's hyphen e or hyphen s or hyphen x and you can also use like hyphen i hyphen o for different other options so we will make it very simple so i will use uh, this format okay and uh, i will use the tag as uh, 2.0 because i already have 1.0 version uh, this is just want to show you like how to run this command uh, build uh, you know this sh file and we are going to use the version which we want to build and we are going to enterprise version and i'm going to use tag you know this um, image so once i run this this will start the whole process of building your uh, docker image for your oracle this will take a long uh, time probably 15 20 or 30 minutes depending upon the system and how much data it has to you know uh, copy and do it I'm not going to do it now because I already had uh, done this and if you see uh, docker images you should be able to see uh, a image here right oracle db and 1.0 so it has actually downloaded this oracle linux slim image and on top of it it has built this image and you can see it's a huge image right 6.53 uh, gp so it takes a lot of times to build this image so be patient Okay, and also make sure that your system has enough space and RAM so when you're building you're using in a virtual machine you have to put at least 2 GB of RAM or an approximately like 30 40 GB of space so that it can build all those things and it has to create this uh, docker image now once we have this uh, docker image now we can run our container right and in order to run the container you know we can use uh, these commands right docker run hyphen t the name you can give a container name and the port mapping you can use it from you know the local host port and to the container port and you can also set your db and the password and uh, the volume and the which uh, version of image you have to use right so let me use this and i'm just going to if you run this it will create a container so I'm not going to run this again, you know, I have done this because this also takes uh, quite a lot of time to create. Now, if you see, I've done uh, the same thing what I've shown, right? Docker run and the uh, IT the name, the DB name and the port and, you know, uh, all those details which we mentioned. So once I run it, you can see it is uh, creating an Oracle edition of Enterprise uh, DB, right? And it will create a lot of process here. It takes a lot of, again, a lot of time to complete this, the, this preparation, copying database file, creating a Oracle instance, you know, all this uh, creation, database plugins, configurations, all those things, you know, and you can also see it has, uh, there is a global database name, DB, and there is a SID, uh, which is all, these are default one, which is coming, okay? we have not changed these things so if you want you have to manually change it or you have to set some other environmental variables when we set it and you know once you once all this is completed you will get a message like your database is ready to use then that means your database is ready and now you can use your database to connect from you know using sql developer or using your web uh, page now in order to access you need to have two ports right this um, uh, one five uh, 5500 right that's the one port and another one is 1521 these two ports has to be opened in firewall so you can use uh, uh, the firewall command as an exception i will put all these uh, commands and links into my github link and i will link that into this video description so you can just follow those commands you can just copy and paste from that github link to creating this container okay now once you create, uh, since we have this created, now you can see I'm running the IP address and 550 slash EM. It will ask you to, you know, log in. So you need to, you know, uh, uh, it will take you to this uh, page where you can enter a username, password and container name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the name, uh, username as sys and also the container name. Okay, so uh, the container name should be the test db which we created and i'm going to enter the password which we have uh, created in the uh, container right so when we created the container we given a container as well so i'm going to use the uh, assist uh, user account so let me just confirm it 
Yeah, it's it's a test DP. I think there was some typo problem, so I just uh, run it, and again now you can see it's uh, logging in, right? So you can see we are logging into the Oracle Database Express. So just wait for that to be loaded. Yeah, you can see, you know, we are inside our Oracle Enterprise Manager where you should be able to see the details over here, right? So active sessions, memory, uh, all those things are all over here. So you can see the performance hub, you know, you, we are inside the test DB now, right? So, uh, you know, uh, we are able to see, you know, logging into the our system and we are using the sys user, okay? You can log out, you know, again, you know, if you want to, you can use the test DB, okay? and it should be sys user and the password okay and if you click uh, i don't know i don't know why it's not taking in the first instant maybe some space yeah i think it's because of some space and you know if you just uh, remove that i think since i am copying pasting i think there is a space after the d so now you can see we are done on this uh, enterprise manager i also want to show you that you know we can even use uh, the sql developer to log into this database so i have a sql developer uh, installed so i will just use that to op i will open that first then we'll connect to a database okay so if you don't know how to install sql developer you can check in google it you can just need to download the uh, zip file and you just need to extract it so now you can see the SQL uh, you know, developer is uh, opened up. So I can I just need to connect to a database. So I will just right click on uh, this connection, and I have to use a new connection. Okay. So once I give new connection, I need to give some name. I will just give test or maybe you no know, you, any name you can give. So it's just a name we want to connect and you know you can use this uh, as 192.168.0.105 which is the ip address uh, for my host and this sid as i mentioned either we have not changed it so we should use the default sid so the default sid is um, this one uh, orcl cdb uh, which i showed you here so there was a default sid right which uh, you can see uh, this is the SID which we have to use okay and uh, we have to use uh, sys dba and uh, the account should be sys and the password so once i give the password you can click on connect now you can see we are connected to the oracle db right and you can see it's uh, bringing on the tables, views, and those all kind of things, users, right? What are all the users available, uh, right? So there are different uh, users here. Def these are all default one, okay? So what we are using is uh, like sys user. There is also different other users, uh, you know, which are available. So these are all the basic uh, configuration. It's not a database uh, you know, tutorial uh, to see how tables and queries and that is not the purpose of this video. Uh, but I want to show you like how you can also use uh, you know, uh, SQL developer to connect your uh, DB. You can disconnect it uh, you know, once you're done. You can disconnect and you can delete it from the list as well. So that's all uh, I wanted to show you like once the database is running, you can access it from SQL developer and you can make any changes you want. So that is all for this tutorial. As I mentioned, I, all this information, I'll put it into the GitHub link. So you can just copy and paste all the commands. So when you're creating the Docker uh, containers for Oracle DB, it will be definitely helpful, you know, as a, a beginner uh, for Docker. And also if you want to set up your Oracle database on Docker, this will be a great tutorial where you can learn how to set up and you can start connecting to your application and creating your queries all those things you should be able to do it once you set up your container but it's a little bit uh, time consuming because you have to build your docker image then you have to create the container it's a huge uh, you know, process in oracle and it's a heavy database as well so it will take some time so but i'm sure it will be helpful so uh, i would request you like you know if you like this video if you want to see more videos like that like this please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, like my videos share give your feedback in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.